So far we've looked at new and open and save. Uh, but what if you want to open an embroidery design that you already have that's not for, you know, something that you created? And if you choose open, you'll notice that you're limited to simply opening draw files. You can only open a draw file. But if you, obviously, we all have, you know, collected embroidery designs. And if you'd like to work with those and add text around them or create appliques from them or whatever, that's possible. We say new to create a new design. And then you choose again the techniques. Now it matters here because, for example, if I just have the cut technique only covered, cut selected for the only technique, and I say next, I'm given the option to choose artwork, but not to choose an embroidery design. Now I'll just say back and add on the embroidery option and maybe even the paint option and show that now if I say next, First of all, I have fabric that I can choose, so I'll say next to that. And now this is what I'm talking about is I actually get a second option here or an additional option called from embroidery. And when I choose that, again, I can use this to select. And now instead of looking at just draw files, I can look at all sorts of different embroidery formats and it's set on all supported and it's showing me in that same folder for the creative drawing samples, there's a bunch of NGS files that came with the software. And um, I believe at the bottom of these with the name harp, I created a Jeff file myself. So here I have a Jeff embroidery design that I created, you know, using the software. And if I say open, that becomes the design that's selected. And when I say next, it brings me to that last stage, which is the color reduction window. And it sees the five colors of the original design. And I could use this slider to reduce the, you know, the number of colors or choose a different color palette based on, you know, whatever kind of thread that you own. And then when I say finish, it populates the designs, you know, with the stitches. And now I could add to this, I could add text around it, I could create shapes around it, I could select these shapes and you know convert them into paint objects or whatever. So the idea is you don't open an embroidery design, you create a new design based on it. Now, something to note is that these segments, the, the parts of the design, I can click on them to see what they are, to select them, I could click and drag a box around all of them to select everything. Um, but it's notice in the properties that it's set as raw data. And what that means is they're embroidery stitches. They're not artwork shapes and you can't fill them in. They're not going to really be changed. You can add around them. You could create new things around them, but you can't manipulate them. If you want to manipulate them, there is an option called convert to curves. And this is the software's ability to look at these shapes that, you know, we see here and convert new sort of create artwork segments out of them. And so I'll, I'll go ahead and do that. I'll just push the convert to curves tool. And now if I look, you can see here the design, it no longer has the embroidery stitches and it's actually converted everything because I turned on the paint option, it converted everything to be zigzag fill with a drawing pen. But the point is it created shapes out of them. I could select these shapes and you know choose to make them an applique if I wanted to. So, or a net fill. So there's different options. And so by doing that, convert to curves from an embroidery design, you have the ability to, I guess, interact with it like you created it. Um, so that's how you can open a design and, and work with it, an embroidery design. So it's different, you know, when you say open, we're simply able to open our draw files. But if we do f new and then have at least embroidery selected and we say next, we can choose to select from an embroidery design and then have an, a new design based on that embroidery design is what happens. Okay.